Hello viewers, welcome to Ekamayas Academy. Today we are going to discuss about recent initiative announced in the union budget 2025 and 2026. So what is that with respect to seed is India is going to set second gene bank, national gene bank in India. So after almost 30 years of time, we have again going, we have a plan for establishing national seed bank or gene bank in India. So what is a seed bank or gene bank? How does it help in conservation of biodiversity and what are all the related initiatives we have taken so far? We'll discuss in this particular video first. So we'll see India is going to host second national gene bank, right? The recent context is almost after 30 years, they have taken the decision of establishing a national gene bank. That means this is going to be the second time, right? Let us understand what is a gene bank. Gene bank is an area where we can store and conserve the seeds varieties of seeds you can say plant tissues we can say so where we feel that these things can get extinct or these varieties so if we cannot conserve they may actually lose the particular biodiversity in that situation to conserve these things as part of exit of conservation in biodiversity so we establish gene banks usually then what is the purpose here to improve the breeding of crops we can have gene bank to increase the biodiversity and to conserve and preserve the biodiversity and to ensure food and national security food and nutritional security of the country for all these reasons we have the gene bank and it is serving the purpose already then so what is india's first national gene bank where was it established and when it was established so it was established in the year 1996 right so 1996 is the year when we have established first india's national gene bank then by whom? So it was established by Indian Council of Agriculture Research, the same time National Bureau of Plant Genomic Research or Plant Genetic Research. So this is an affiliated institution under ICR. ICR is an autonomous institution under Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. So they together have established this first national gene bank in Delhi. It was established in New Delhi. Right? So we have seen what is this National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. It's a body where they're trying to conserve the genetic resources in the plant varieties so that we are trying to help the plant varieties from uh, like preventing them from getting extinct. At the same time, we are trying to conserve the biodiversity also. Then what is the main objective? To conserve native varieties of seeds, native seeds at the same time, conserving the biodiversity both are the main objectives and it is headquartered in new delhi so the national bureau of plant genetic resources also headquartered in new delhi then we'll understand icrisat has taken a global level so where icrisat means international crop research institute for semi-arid tropics so this is headquartered in hyderabad itself and for the first time it has established world's first solar powered gene bank in the country Right? So what is this initiative? So they're trying to conserve 11 varieties of plants. So they have taken this initiative to conserve 11 varieties of plants out of which most of them are millet varieties and finger millet and different types of millets along with PGNP etc. They have taken the initiative to conserve these varieties of native seeds and to help the conservation of biodiversity. So that was the initiative taken by ICRISAT in this regard. Now let us understand the initiative taken by ICRISAT when it has established the world's first solar powered gene bank is established actually in the year 2019. And in the next 2021, it world's second largest national gene bank was hosted in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So they have hosted the second largest world gene bank in the Madhya Pradesh mainly to conserve the native varieties of seeds and to conserve the biodiversity. Then what is this national gene fund? So this fund is actually used for conservation of native varieties of seeds and plants. So this was established under section 45 of Plant Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act of 2001. So under this particular act, they have established this particular thing to provide funding mechanism so that we can conserve the genes and the seeds of varieties of plants and to also preserve the biodiversity. The main objective of this is clear, right? Then let us see the practice question in this regard. Consider the following statements regarding gene banks. So gene banks are the facilities used for exit conservation of genetic material. Second, crypto conservation, sorry, cryo conservation or preservation of one of the methods in the gene bank. Then National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources is responsible for India's largest gene bank. Among these, how many of the options are right? Let me know in the comment section. Then 
Today we have discussed about India's second national gene bank which was being planned in the state of in, sorry, in the country, in the recent times, it was proposed in the Union Budget 2025 also. We have seen all the related initiatives in respect of conservation of seeds, which is a form of ex situ conservation of biodiversity. So this is all with respect to today's video. If you like the video and found informative, let us know in the comment section. Thanks for joining. All the very best.